and the rescue services. You need some rescuing out there. And we're gonna get on the slam with the spikes. Oblock just about finished. Sir Killalot wants to come in. Shunt lifts. Sir Killalot, maybe with the lance that can churn into the very guts of a machine. Or the power. No, he leaves it for Shunt. The fussy ref. Oh, get out of there, referee. Scuttles across to have a look. Down into the pit, they say. And Shunt will oblige. Not into the pit, but onto the floor flipper. As Oblock counted out by the ref box. Nine, ten, out, and fly, boys, fly! Amber will have appreciated that. Just having a check to see how Oblock landed, actually. No landing mechanism, no landing gear. Amber very nearly driving itself on the kill lot, actually. But Amber will go for it. Oblock, of course. Now food for thought, and food for our house robots. On to the flames, the machine of the firefighters. An ironic end to Obnark. Oh, Stan watches with gritted teeth the fire cadet leader. Tom Butler in there as well, loves his cricket. How's that, Tom? You're out. Cease. Oblock bowled over by Anvil. Well, the Fire Brigade want to get busy and put their robot out. Oblock consigned to the pit of oblivion. The RAF soar into the final of the Forces Special. <laughs> it, was all, it, was all, it was all going so well. Yeah. Then you lost your arm, and then you got barbecued. We had a little problem with the aerials, got caught inside the robots, we yeah. lost control, and that was it. It went pants from there onwards. It was a bit pants in the end. Um, you were quite slow as well. Your axe was good, though. It uses the same link as your shunts. And I tell you what, a fantastic self-writing mechanism. In fact, <laughs> almost too good. <laughs> it would have been right if the axe hadn't stuck out. Yeah. It does self-write quite nicely. Are you disappointed to go out to these RAF guys? Yeah, but there's always next year. There's always next year, so you'll be back? Yes. What will the robot be like? Will it be bigger? Will it be better? Will it be better? Yes. All righty. Let's hear it for the Fire Brigade and Oblock! <laughs> How about that, then? I'm um, impressed. I'm impressed. Enjoyed that. Not so tall now, are you, small fright? <laughs> um, you're six foot nine, oh, but yeah. your robot's performing bigger than that. Right. Only six inches tall, but it stands proud. It's, it's doing really well, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's doing very well. You've had a good few battles, and, um, and oh, you're rocking. So what are take, your, take your tactics for the final? We're just going to keep pounding away like I've been doing. Keep pounding away. It's a small robot, as you said, but it's got a good heart, hasn't it? Yeah, it's anvil. It can take a lot of hammer. It's great. It's tough as old boots, and Carl did some great driving today. It's hey. good. Hey. <laughs> like Sterling Moss. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you reckon the final, confident, you're going to have it? I think so. You're going to so. prove that you're the best of the forces, are you? We're the best, we're the baddest, we're going to do it. All righty! Let's hear it for the RAF and Anvil! It's going to be a Navy team and we're going to sink them. Oh! The RAF boys of Anvil go through, Oblock and the Fire Brigade out, megahertz against Subversion, it's a Navy special next. The Subversion team, congratulations, you're through to the semi-finals and you're up against the Royal Navy. How do you feel about that? Well, very confident. Here, Submariners represent Submarine Service. They're a bunch of skimmer targets. They're skimmers. definitely going down. So you think you're going to end up on top? Oh, yeah. Anything else to say to the opposition? Uh, There's a good bit of rivalry. They're weapons engineers, they're marine engineers, so it's going to see who comes out the best technically. Good luck, team. Let's go meet the Navy. Megahertz. Subversion have just called you a bunch of skimmers. Oh, Targets. really? Really? Yeah? Well, I'll tell you what, we are Team Megahertz, and we're going to beat them into submission. OK. I had no idea there was so much competition within the Navy. This is going to be fierce. From the Royal Navy, HMS Collingwood, Megahertz. 
from the Royal Navy HMS Neptune Subversion. Roboteers, stand by. Shiver me timbers, RefBot. Just make sure there are no piratical tricks going on here. Megahertz, Petty Officer Dave Robbie Robson, Petty Officer Dinger Bell, Operator Mechanic Goose. And from Royal Navy Faz Lane, the subversion of the Submariner's Chief Petty Officer Russell Scott, Gordon Walker and John Soapy Watson. We've got Sir Killalow out there doing battle for us with the crushing claws of the Lance. He is invincible, according to me. Shunts fairly hard as well with the pushing power and the diamond edge hats and scoop. Three, two, one. Debate. Subversion on the right is the heavier and the quicker here across the arena floor, but Megahertz has the more potent weaponry, I think, with the three steel spikes. Hey! Fire one, fire two, tubes away for subversion for the little spikes there. In the uh, torpedo tubes, out they come again. Not too sure. <laughs> well, what's the uh, what's the manoeuvrability like? They need a periscope up to see where they're going. They slammed against the arena wall there. Subversion. In comes Megahertz. Trying to be a little bit tricky with a thrust from the rear. All the team members serving together at the Royal Navy School of Weapons, Engineering and Communications. Subversion team trying to get that rear spinning blade working. Something caught up in there. No, it wasn't. They're okay. Side by side with Megahertz. This is very, very close. Ooh, I aye, aye, skipper up there on the conning tower. That must have hurt. They try now to gain revenge by backing onto Megahertz. This is like naval manoeuvres out there, isn't it? Who will. Oh, the Royal Ensign been blown with pride. Royal Navy says the other banner. And out comes Killalot. Little flick of the side of Subversion. Is Subversion still moving? What have they caught out? A prod from Killalot. Well, the weapon is still working. But Skipper, you have work to do. There you can see the weaponry of Subversion still spinning away at the rear. But in slams Megahertz, using those three steel spikes and... Oh, is that a thumbs down I see from you, Skipper? Certainly the Megahertz boys think you're heading out, so does the RevBot. And for me, the most attractive robot in this armed forces melee is about to descend into the pits. Fire a death charge! Subversion! Oh, dear. Captain, you are heading down into the depths. Down comes Shunts at. That is very painful. The submarine nearly took off. Ooh, dear, oh dear. And out he comes. Man overboard. Man the lifeboats. Oh, is it really necessary? Well, lend him a hand. Because they need it, subversion. Over they go once, rights itself. Shunt will find, though, the pit. And down they will go. Tubes away. And with them go the Submariner's entrant. Close encounters of the robot kind. In the end, it wasn't too close. They want him to go in the pit. The world's first flying submarine. Oh... A flash and a crash at the end. Here we go. Up and over. Roly poly. And down it came. Bits crashing all over the arena floor. And Killalot will try and pick it up, and indeed does so. And now we'll lever it towards that pit. And I think it will take more than a dry dock to rescue Subversion. And Petty Officer Dave Robbie Robson loved it with the Megahertz team. A twist of the screw, and down they go. Cease. Well, it certainly is a cruel sea, and it's turned into a cruel arena. Subversion suffered a man overboard, and then they're sunk without a trace. Megahead sailed through to the forces final! Well, a 
thought you might have a chance of doing it, but it looked like you were on silent running for a while. Um, your weapon didn't work for ages, then all of a sudden it started working. Yeah, it was working fine. We had a little bit of reactor scram in the, in the middle of the fight there, and that mm -hmm. caused us a few problems, yeah. you know. <laughs> you saw no problems. <laughs> Bing. Bing. Um, what do you feel about losing to them, though? Doesn't matter, it's still the Navy in the final. It's still the Navy in the final now, but were you, guys, were you boys waiting together? Was it a tactic thing, you're saying, let's get the best robot through? Do you think their robot's a little bit better than yours, seemed a bit tougher? Oh, I'm still waiting to destroy each other, so... You're still waiting to destroy each other. <laughs> but, um, but you can wave bye-bye to the competition, can't you? Well, yeah, but we'll, we'll be back. I'm we'll be back. Sub version 2. And, and, we'll, and we'll be really, really glad to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the... Subversion!